YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? Pop on and all you camp on this side, you already know what's going on. It's about to give the dogs a little bath. Um, just wanted to give you a little insight on how I bathe them, what I use. Uh, they have a little skin condition right now, so as of right now, I'm gonna use these two to see what happens. Um, oatmeal product and medical based. So let's see what we do. Let me see, uh, let me get Lola first. Lola, here. Come here, Lola. Come on, mama. Lola is pregnant. Still bathing her. She need to be clean. She a little scared. She ain't never been on the table before. So she ain't got no no high rear, none of that. You already know. Um, I have an upcoming video on all these uh, micro bullies that are being mal mal bred, or yeah, wrongfully bred, or. You know what I mean? That are not supposed to be being bred and they are being bred like this. I have an upcoming video. Um, I'm just doing some research. I wanna have good uh, good photos um, so you guys can reference to and you guys can look at when you're buying your micro bully. I also, um, I'm also gonna do one on a very common uh, defect that these dogs run by uh, and it's the the having of um, of that soft palate not only the cliff the cliff the little the cliff palate yeah they have that but what's more common is is the the soft palate and a lot of breeders lie to their buyers and tell them oh no these dogs are supposed to breathe like that and they do breathe like that up to a certain extent due to the fact that they do have a short snout but once he's snoring as he's awake or he's choking every time he eats or he gets too excited he's gagging sometimes up to the point where he's throwing up or she's throwing out, that's an issue. Like people don't understand that, that that's an issue. Thank you, baby, you're such a good girl. Thank you. So that's an issue. And it's something that has to be, that has to be said, you know? Um, a lot of these people have like poorly structured dogs. I'm not saying my dogs are perfect, but a lot of messed up stuff out there, man. And it's we gotta talk about it. Usually people that talk about it are people that don't have the bullies. Like, I got my bully, I'm not afraid to talk about what imperfections they might have. Um, but I'm gonna talk about, uh -oh, shh, shh, no move. But I'm gonna talk about true stuff. I'm gonna talk about what's really going on. These people having these six inch dogs that can't even walk. You understand? Um, when is enough? I'm gonna have this this topic pretty soon on, uh, on my other video. Just wanna have good content so you guys can reference to. Um, yeah, and this girl's almost due. I don't think she's gonna have a lot of puppies because she's, um, She's like five days away from being, from being uh, 60 days. She's so weird, she's still running around. She's still running around, uh, still jumping around, still eating a lot. Her temperature did drop. She went from 101, 102 to 99, 100 this week. She started like on Sunday like that, so. I wouldn't be surprised if she has a baby, like on Friday, Saturday. Um, I mean, yeah, like Friday, Saturday. Um, 
another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was they tell you how to whelp the litter. They tell you when she comes in heat, they tell you all this other stuff. You know what I don't hear breeders telling other breeders or new breeders about? <clears throat> How to set yourself up for success. Because a lot of people, a lot of people um, set up an appointment with their vet a few days before, a few weeks before, and then they get stuck, and then the vet can't be open that day, or they miss the timing, or something happens, and they only have one appointment. So, guess who's screwed? The person who only made one vet, one vet appointment. You know what I mean? The person who made one vet appointment is now screwed due to the fact that that dog is not going to be able to push out them dogs. All right? If your dog is a true micro bully, she's not going to push out her dogs. I don't care what nobody says. If she's a true micro bully, I'm not talking about no borderline pocket or pocket micro, trying to come up with all these new, like, new names and shit, like people don't know about dogs. If your dog is a true micro, 10 or under for a female, 12 max for a dog. If your dog is a true micro, your dog is not gonna push out those puppies. And it's a shame that a lot of people lose a lot of good puppies, they lose a lot of good dogs because they're not aware that they need to make a few appointments. All dogs, all women don't give birth nine months. You understand? So, it could be anywhere from 60 to, come on, Pablo. Come here, boy. So I'm gonna leave that on there for about 10 minutes and then I'll take it off. The champ is here. The champ so, is here. That being said, yeah, look at this boy. Oh, yeah, baby. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> look at that. He don't even stack. I don't even stack him. He does this on his own. He does this on his own. Good boy. He does this on his own. Good boy. But, yeah. If you don't, no, 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 you're gonna fall off. Come on, stop it. So if you don't set up a few appointments, you're gonna be caught in a bad predicament. So, that being said, my pointer for new breeders, for people that are gonna have their um, their litters, make that same vet. I I have vets that they'll make me two appointments. It's okay, boy. Come on, so don't go in your ear. I have vets that they make me two appointments. They'll make me one. Like let's suppose for Lola, right? She's supposed, her 60th day is on a Saturday. So I have a vet that went and gave me an appointment for Saturday. And then just to be safe, gave me another appointment for Sunday. But what did I do? I went somewhere else, my other vet, and I made an appointment for Sunday, just in case the vet that did me for Sunday won't be there, won't be available. And then I made me one for Tuesday, just in case. Stop, 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 stop. Cause Tuesday will be her 63rd day, all right? So you never really know 
what's going on. Especially if you do an AI, because I did an AI on her. So, that being said, I did an AI for her. So, I did it 16, 17, and 18. You understand? So, I got to calculate those three days. I can't just be like, all right, I did it on the 16th. So, she's pregnant on the 16th. Because if that was the case, then... I should have just never done the other two days. You got me? So that being said, you just gotta be careful on that. Make yourself some backup appointments and go and don't just do it at one vet. And I was gonna tell you, I usually go around from vet to vet sometimes um, to give them checkups. Not because I don't like the vet that I'm at, but because it's always good to create a relationship good boy it's always good to create a relationship with your vet I've noticed that when you don't have a relationship with your vet and you just make an appointment for a c-section or some other stuff it's kind of it don't always work out good so make sure to have a relationship with your vet I mean it could be anything your dog could be giving birth stop because you're gonna fall stop um your vet, if he's a cool vet and you already know him and you have a relationship with him, you could call this dude at 12 o'clock at night if you have to. You know what I mean? You never know when they're going to breed because it might be Saturday. All right. My appointment on Saturday, right? God forbid. She give birth. She start giving birth at 12 o'clock at night. 1 o'clock at night on Friday night. I mean Saturday, right? So what you think? My appointment at 10 o'clock in the morning. They're not even open. You feel me? Versus you having a relationship with your vet. You have a few thousand. You're supposed to have your little pig vein. Oh, just in case stuff like this happens. So let's let's make let's think about that. You know what I mean? That happens. So now you can call them. It's gonna be more expensive than what you initially anticipated. But you have a vet. You don't have to go to a clinic. Where it's gonna be freaking four or six thousand. I'm in New York. In New York, if you don't plan your your C sections, you'll easily pay six grand, seven grand. Easily. Easily. You know what I mean? Which is crazy because if you set one up with time, if you set one up with time, you'll probably pay like nine hundred dollars. A thousand dollars. So from a thousand dollars to six thousand, baby, it's a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot. But but yeah, just just have your stuff. One point, Pablo, you're gonna fall off. Stop, my nigga. Stop. Stop. My boy don't like water like that when it's coming out of the hose. But if it's in the pool, he's in there all day. So I don't get it. But yeah, um, another, yeah, he just shook off all the soap, the medicated one too. I put a lot of, I buy more, man. Don't be cheap with your medicated soap. Make sure that shit goes into the skin. Make sure you let it soak into the skin. Don't just put it on and wash it off. Cause then it makes no sense. See, he's really itchy, man. I really don't know what it is. I changed his dog food already. He has excellent dog food. It went away for a little bit. And then it came back. So I really don't know what it is, but we're gonna figure it out little by little. All right. Um, I really want my loader to be good because you guys don't know when you're breeding your dog females usually go through stuff anyways their immune system gets low due to the fact of all the stuff they're already dealing with with the pregnancy and all of that let's 
so hard to deal with. He fucks my whole back up because I gotta be tugging on him and this and that. But yeah, so I can't wait to talk about Pablo. Come, I can't wait to talk about all that. Pablo, get out of there now. Get up. Can't wait to talk about all that soft palate, which is a big issue. Just breeding that into your camp is not okay. If you're trying to breed it out, it's fine. But if your female has it and your male has it, that's a problem. Because all you're doing is breeding that into your camp and then passing it along for the dog owner who buys it from you. Come here, Lola. Pablo, no. Get up. So all you're doing is passing that along for the person that buys the dog from you. You're gonna have a sick dog. Pablo! Which is not okay. That operation costs two grand. Not everybody that buys a dog is to breathe. Pablo, get over here now. Come. He's trying to hide and rub the soap off. Hey! Get over here. Come over here now. Stay there. Sit. 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 So yeah, not everybody that buys a dog is to breed them. So that being said, not everybody that buys a dog has all this emergency money just laying around. So some people just really want a house pet where they could just back and um, give the dog all their shots and just vibe with their dog. Um, breeding, keep breeding that into your camp is not okay. If you're trying to breed it out, that's understandable because these dogs do come with defects and it is getting better little by little. But if you know that dog has an issue and the male and the female have the same issue and you keep breeding these freaking dogs, like, like, come on, I is enough. Like, stop thinking about your pocket, stop thinking about hustling somebody and let's think about other people and let's think about these dogs, man. There's dogs that suffer so much. So let's think about that. Give her one more, um, one quick uh, lather more, and then let her rock for a little bit with it. I really want her to get better with this, man. So, that's about it. Just giving her this quick lather. Gonna let her rock with it for a little bit. And then I'll come back to you guys. Yeah, that just happened. I'll come back to you guys once they're both nice and clean, all right? I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys see what's going on. It's been 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna take it off now and let him chill in. Just let them dry out. I dry them out a little bit and then inside it's a, it's a little warmer. It's not cold out here. Don't let my hoodie confuse ya. Um, but inside it'll be a little bit warmer and then I'll turn the fan. I have a drying fan for them so they can dry. They won't stay wet like this and smell like wet dough. There we go. Good girl. She's such a good girl. Guys, she's going to be a great mom. I just have that feeling. She's going to be a great mom. Usually I take a temperature twice a day. I take it uh, mid-morning. 
and then late night just to make sure everything's okay. I took it earlier today. She was at um, she was at a uh, hundred point eight, a hundred point nine. And come boy. She has not gone lower than like 99.8, 99.7 on Sunday when I went down for the first time. It, um, that was the lowest. Stop, stay. Good, good boy. So it hasn't gone any lower than that. Can't wait. So I'm really excited to see what my boy Pablo produces. His dad was just at a dog show, one first place. Um, he comes from a really good bloodline. Comes from a really good bloodline. So I'm really happy on that. Let me see your face, buddy. Come here. I can't wait for their puppies because her snout is so long versus his snout, which is smashed. Um, so once that happens, I want to see what type of dogs is going to come out. Um, but yeah. Stay. Lola, come. Lola, come. Lola, come. So this is what's going on, guys. This is what's coming to y'all. Z-Rect. This is what's coming to y'all. Z-Rect. That's what's coming to y'all direct. All right? Yeah. Good boy. That's what it is right there. She don't stack. She's not gonna stack. Apart from her being pregnant, she's not gonna stack. I think he does it just because it's in his bloodline, but I don't think she, she will ever stack. So that's all I do. For the skin rash for as of now let's wait and see what happens later on all right guys i appreciate you guys for watching um if you can subscribe if you like what you saw hit that like button share it um i'm doing a giveaway on my ig once i get to my first 10k spread the word spread the word send the bird to spread the word you don't know if it's you you don't know um doing a giveaway on my tiktok as well once i get to 20k um on my youtube right here i'm just i'm gonna do a giveaway but i mean i want to be at least at 15k for me to do a giveaway on here so let me get 15k and I do a giveaway on here as well. I do cash. I do a TV. Maybe later on I'll do a puppy. We never know. All right, guys. Pop on and bully can. We out.